Okay, so we're starting from absolute scratch here, everybody. I just got my Donner piano here. If this makes it to YouTube, I'll put a description for the uh, a link in the description for the, the keyboard that I'm using. 88 keys, full weighted, so it has the full feel of an actual piano. I don't know, you guys know I go pretty like hard into stuff, so when I heard Rocksmith Piano, I thought I want something that feels like an actual instrument. Because I've actually been interested in learning piano for many years. Learning piano is super easy, don't worry. Why do I feel like that is not a thing? So like, I'm getting the full new user experience, everybody. I can't play piano at all. This will be your experience if you start. First things first, everybody. I actually don't know if I'm allowed to say this. When I was first made aware of Rocksmith Plus's existence, one of the things that I was told was that their new engine that they're using for Rocksmith Plus will allow for much more expandability because it's it's like using the Snowdrop engine. It's like the same engine that Battlefield uses and stuff. The way it's designed is they, they made it for expandability and they said potentially other instruments. So obviously here it is. We got piano in the game. This should get us excited for what is possible in the future. The Rocksmith Plus launch was, in my opinion, pretty fucking terrible. They're playing catch up right now. Rocksmith Plus is playing catch up right now. For me as a, a metalhead, we're kind of getting in the right direction. I've seen a lot of Roadrunner stuff be released. In my opinion, this is the most value they could have added to the game in its current state. And I think it's smart. Right now, you got a lot of people, they just loaded up Rocksmith 2014 because it just was delisted. And they're all about the customs and, you know, those people in the message boards. Rocksmith 2014 is the best because the customs. And you know what? I agree with you, but let's be real. Customs are illegal and there's no fucking way that Rocksmith Plus can legally compete with that. Can I connect my brand new Yamaha P45e piano? So from what I understand, as long as it supports MIDI, yes. Ready to start your piano journey with Rocksmith? Let's set up your instrument. Do you have any experience playing piano? No. Good to know. I feel like there is a little bit of delay on the piano, like more so than I'm used to with the guitar. Uh, I don't know a lot about piano, but I know that all the black notes are the ones that sound bad. So you just play on the white keys and it sounds good. Oh God, okay. Welcome to the note way. The idea is simple. Notes travel towards the keys at the bottom of the screen. When they reach the bottom, play the matching key on your keyboard. Oh God, I'm nervous, everybody, I'm nervous. Oh God. I have played a lot of Rocksmith in my life, and that was like one of the most hype things that's ever happened, where you play the notes and then it's like, you hear in full what you just played. So where people are gonna start asking like, hey, Chain, could you uh, play the um, intro? Uh, could you play the keyboard solo in Fire Flames now? So I guess we'll have to see like what kind of lessons uh, there are and stuff. And I guess uh, something I don't have experience with, but I guess maybe the more experienced players will be uh, considering is how does this compare to like Synthasia or, um, is there another one? I know Synthasia was, I've seen videos of it. They have like the interface lined up over the keys and you see people playing along. Musician is another one. Oh, so Musician, Simply Piano. Okay, so there's a bunch of them, right? Does it do velocity detection? Um, okay, so one thing I want to check. So because I am a Rocksmith guitar lord, right? I have the difficulty set to maximum. Now, do I have to switch that? per instrument or is that like a global is the difficulty a global setting or can I set it for instrument it's global okay so um feature request number one I think we should have difficulty per instrument I'm thinking maybe we could get that you know instrument dependent uh settings difficulty settings oh oh they got lessons okay yes that's what I need piano lessons Yo, I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised at the amount of lessons on here. Hi, I'm your host, Sarah. And to get started, we're going to get our hands into C position and look at what notes we can play from there. C First, position. We're gonna... This one here is called middle C because it's the C closest no, where? to the middle of no. the keyboard. You might also hear it called C4 because it's the fourth up oh, that from one? the bottom of a piano. 
Now, if we play that with our thumb, that leaves our other four fingers free to play these other four notes. This one's a D, this is an E. You see how this is working, right? One note per finger. This one's F, and this is G. So it goes right up the alphabet. C, D, E, F, G. Great, now let's look at the left hand. We'll do the same thing, but one octave lower. That just means that we're playing the next C down from where we are. We'll play this C, which is called C3, because it's one down from C4, C3. with our left pinky. Yo. And just like before, we work our way up the scale with our other fingers. So we have D, and E, F, and G. Great. Now it's time for you to try it for yourself. As long as your hands are in the right position, you'll be able to play the whole track without shifting your hands. Play it as many times as you need to get comfortable with it, and don't forget to have fun. Oh, there's, you have to hold it. I feel, I feel you're at a corporate seminar. <laughs> We did like three lessons or whatever. I think this interface is really clean and it's really nice to see at the bottom, you can see what key you're hitting. So like for me, I'm really confused, but like I can hit a key and then just kind of see where I'm at on the board, right? Sometimes instead of playing notes that are right next to each other, one step away, we'll skip over notes. Oh, now fuck. let's take a look no. at the practice track. Sarah, what are you Remember doing? To keep both hands what song is this? Fucking sounds great. So here's the thing. We've done a few lessons, but we haven't done anything on the black keys. But should I just, should I try and jump into a song? Or should I keep doing lessons? Listen, this is something I did not consider, everybody. This is something I have not considered up until this moment. You have to use both hands, active hand, both. Oh wait, we can adjust this. We can go left hand, both or right. Can I do riff repeat left? You can riff repeat individual hands? Wow, I'm actually, okay. I'm actually a little bit impressed by the riff repeater because doing I did not think that doing individual hands would be something that they put in there. So I can play this whole song just using like da -na 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 -na. I keep messing that part up. In the end here, this is probably a really good song because from what I can understand, the whole song does the same thing on here and then you have to do the harmonic parts. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna take a long ass time. There's no way I could just do this thing. All right, well there you go, everybody. We've played Rocks with Piano for about three and a half hours, and I know two Lincoln Park piano riffs. Watch, here's in the end. And then I know this one too now. Pain on the just yeah, I mean, okay, I think I'm okay for piano today. I, I kind of just wanted to get introduced to like how it looks and stuff, and I had sufficient fun with it, but I really want to play those death songs in Rocksmith guitar, so. So I'm going to take a couple bites of chili, and then we're going to play some guitaring.